guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I found out that um, they're not going to do our windows until January, mid-January. So good news is I get to put up my tree and don't have to take it back down. Bad news is that they're going to do my windows in January, which is probably going to be the coldest day of the year in Canada. But that's fine. That will be something I'll deal with when it's time. So, I'm trying to get my Christmas stuff together and then we're going to put up the tree. But I had bought the blocks from um, the dollar store to paint and then it said Christmas on it and they're blocks like this. So I'm going to paint and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use for making this sign. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So the things you're going to need are the blocks obviously and I painted them um, white, just a base coat of white. Um, <coughs> for the C and the S, the beginning and the end, I got some small little nails and a hammer and I just hammered in a little, a little nail in the end there so that I have something to hang it off of. And then you're going to need glue sticks and the glue gun because I'm going to glue the letters together once I've painted them and then you're going to need um, a ribbon or a string whatever you want to use to for it to hang from one nail to the other and then of course you're going to need your paint brushes I have a few of them here and then we're going to use some glitter paint so I've got gold, red, silver, and green. Those are the colors I'm going to use. So that's everything you're going to need. I also have my glue stick just so that I don't burn myself if I want to wipe away glue. And I've also got a little, little containers to put the paint in. So that's everything you're going to need for this project. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I put some gold paint in a little bowl, in a little dish, and we're just going to paint the letters. Simple, easy. I'm sure we're going to have to do a few coats because it's pretty thin. But we're just going to keep painting. This is really pretty. Lots of sparkles. So we're going to have to do a few coats, but that's okay. It will stand out. So this is how it's looking so far with the C done. That's coat number one. We'll let it dry and we'll move on to the next letter. Okay, now we're on to the next letter and we're doing red. the sparkles. They look so pretty. Kind of looks pink and not red, but that's okay. Again, I think I'm going to have to do a couple of coats. looks really good with the white background and I just put a base coat of white on all of them so 
So there we go. The first coat is on. And that's how the reds look. And so far that's the red. Okay, let's get the green. Okay, now we're going to do silver. And again, it's really light. I'm wondering if I should just put another coat on of a darker gray and then put this on a, as a overcoat, older overcoat we'll see when it dries it's a good thing about paint if you're not liking the way it's coming out that's the silver you can always redo it. Okay, guys, be right back. Okay, we're back. This is the green. So we have green now. Okay guys, there's the green. I'm going to wait and see how it looks when it dries and see if I like it or not and if we're going to add another color to it. Okay guys, so it's starting to turn out really nice the way I like it, but I had to do the second coat really, really thick. So. It's going to take a while to dry, but that's kind of what the colors are going to look like. And now I'm going to go back to the gold, red, silver, green again. All right, I'll be back. Hi, guys. Okay, so it took about four coats to make it the blocks, the colors that I was looking for. So, But they're finally done, so they look good. So that's the colors. So now all I'm going to do is hot glue them together with the hot glue gun. So I'm just going to add some glue on the side. And then I'm going to glue them together. And that's all I'm going to do. Glue this sign all the way across. Very simple and easy. Oops. Make sure we don't stick to the paper. Okay. So once I've got it all glued together, I'll be back. Okay. So it's all glued together now. Turned out really cute. So all I'm going to do is attach a string so that it can be hung up, which is this one. And then I made a quick little bow out of ribbon. And this is the ribbon that I'm going to put above it so that it'll hang down off of that string and it'll look right cute. And this one is kind of like wire, so all I have to do is wrap it around the nail a few times and then it will stay. So pretty simple, easy peasy, and I'm done. Just wrap it around and then take it to the other side and do the same. Alright guys, I'm going to take a picture so you guys can see once it's all done. Okay guys, so that's what it looks like now that it's done. It's a really easy project to do. 
with the kids even would be a lot of fun. The only thing that you would have to do for them is the glue gun, obviously, so they don't get burned. But you get to pick your own colors, and it goes with everything in your house. So it turned out really cute. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.